bedding, I just realized. Hello my lovelies and welcome to another video. I am very very happy to be filming this one even though it's like about blah, blah, blah. it's about 40,000 degrees in England. We're boiling. People don't really have ACs in England because it's never really that hot. But you know, we're kind of enjoying it. When you live by the sea it's really nice because it feels like you're on a holiday. Not. I have work to do so. That's alright. I just wanted to say at the beginning of this video, I'm sorry if you hear some noises, sort of like a kind of outside... Okay, my best friend's next to me. Ooh, it's important. It's it's boy stuff. Wait. That's done. Yes, I just wanted to say if you hear any loud noises in this video, that's because my first door neighbors are celebrating a life event, so it's kind of like outside of pub atmosphere type of thing, you know? Today's video is going to be about some of the newest things in my wardrobe. It's mainly clothes and one pair of shoes. I haven't bought a bag, guys. I haven't bought a bag since Chanel see-through plastic bag. When was that? Nina will be able to tell you. Which is a very long time for me. I got into like really quite a few Chanel bags February and March got too many bags and then I kind of completely got off so it's been April, May, June three months that I haven't bought a bag which for me is a very long time you will agree right that being said I am traveling to Paris on Monday and things could change so I wanted to show you things that I got recently like new kind of things for summer in my wardrobe some of these things were gifted I will specify what was gifted what I don't specify means that I purchased it not with vouchers, but with my money. So the first thing that I wanted to show you is something that I've already actually photographed in Santorini, and it's this white dress by uh, Shara Reese Subiza. I love, love, love this dress. What I love the most about it is the lace detailing and the fact that it kind of reveals the shoulders, especially when I'm a little bit more tanned, which I am at the moment. I kind of like tan easily, so I don't really like bake in the sun, but I tan easily, which is like how kind of got this color. That's what makes this dress kind of look really beautiful. I wore it with my Chanel slides and I think my gray Chanel. But anyway, really love it. I think it's so easy. And if you go on a holiday, you just like pack it up. Like it's so small, but it can be evening or day dress. I remember when I wore it in Santorini, I asked the receptionist for like um, advice for a restaurant and she kept saying like that I'm <laughs> overdressed for most of the Santorini restaurants. And I mean, like, it's a white, kind of almost like a beach type of dress, but um, I guess it looks really, really cute because of all the lace detailing. Let's move on, yes. Um, really love this brand in general, and um, this was actually gifted to me, by the way, from the PR agency that represents the brand. The same goes for this Hammond and Nandita uh, top. I love this top. I literally, this is going to be top you see me wear all the time. I love this detailing on the hem. I love the kind of like polka dot type of thing and then the detailing on the sleeve. I guess I'll have to try everything on. Why I love it is I think because I can wear it with jeans, with skirts, with denim, with different kind of skirts, it's white. But I like designated in my head, I wanted to wear it with a skirt by also Hammond and Nandita and I don't think this is a set necessarily the skirt is completely different I normally have to say I don't really like skirts like this normally because I think they're a little bit too girly but this and this with a pair of my new Dior walk walk and something sneakers will be perfect you know like I could even wear that in Serbia if I go for like a city break or like in Vienna now we go music as well yeah, I could even wear this in Serbia, it's not too beachy, but then I do have a lot planned for July, so I think I will bring this with me. Well, I don't think, I know. Oh my god, I'm matching the bedding, I just realized. Basically, this skirt is just like a super easy one to wear. Love the top, I love the top a little bit more, um, but in general I think they are like great, 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 great combo. At the beginning of the month, I bought two dresses. One was this very scruffy looking now uh, Jacques Mousse dress. I'll insert the picture of me wearing it. I wore it to my friend's Matteo's birthday, Matteo's birthday, and also wore it to wear it in Santorini. I have like a video of me wearing it, so. Like a 
French Riviera style dress. It can be a little bit too sexy even, but I'm not very curvy, so for me it's not too sexy, like, you know what I mean. Like, it's open back, shows a little bit of side boob. The only annoying thing is my Van Cleef bracelet catches anything with like a thread, so that's very sad. But actually it didn't damage the dress, it just caught two um, threads from the embroidery, which can easily be fixed. So yeah, La Jacquemus is probably like my favorite uh, summer brand. I think I love Zimmerman, but I'm like obviously I wear it so much. I've got it on right now as you can see, but sometimes or like lately I haven't really been finding that many things. Like as you can notice, like this year I haven't bought that many things from Zimmerman comparing to last year, but seeing that next dress is from Zimmerman. I bought this one in the boutique in um, Bruton Street. I love the brand. I don't really have many, many maxi dresses. This one's quite different to the rest. And I love wearing this with like sneakers to make it kind of more cash. So you can wear it day to day. And with my Kelly bag, I think it's just perfect like that. It also comes with this kind of like a belty thing that you can actually put around your neck or in your hair or whatever you want. It's a linen cotton dress with these buttons in front and I really, really love it. One thing you also could see, I think, in my, well, on my Instagram for sure, but also I think in Santorini video, is the Chanel bathing suit. This is what it looks like, black and white with Chanel logo. Now, when you think about it, who really needs a Chanel bathing suit? I certainly don't and I don't really care what brand swimming suit I have. I mean, you might not believe me, but trust me, it's true. Uh, I just kind of like to have a swimming suit that suits me and that looks good on me. Usually I like to go for brands like Bix, Melissa Audubash, like brands like that really suit me. And Calcedonia I love so much because it's very flattering. But then when I saw this, I was like, this could even like serve as a top so I can wear it with shorts, which is what I did also in Santorini. So it's like a top slash swimming suit and at the back it's cut very deep so it's not like sometimes swimming suits are cut till here but this one's quite open and i really like it it's not a very sexy one though it doesn't follow like a waistline or something like that it's just very straight chanel like very gabrielle very coco kind of vibes talking about chanel i got a gift a pair of sunglasses which is actually a first pair of sunglasses that i got for sure this year for sure this year but probably in even longer it was a gift and i as you guys have noticed probably i don't really wear out of my 200 pairs of sunglasses i don't wear any sunglasses except from my own brand so shady sunglasses because i just love them so much like i designed them how i like them how i want them how you know like when you design something and that's exactly how and what you want to wear I will link So Shady below so you guys ch can check them out, but haven't worn anything else except from So Shady, but then I received these as a present and they're absolutely stunning. They're sort of like uh, round sunglasses with lighter glass and here on top, hopefully Nina will zoom in, there's like a set of pearls that are actually real like sitting there and I think that's just so beautiful. I love, love, love Chanel sunglasses. I think they did great this year they're beautiful and i could wear them with my so shady chains because we have pearl chain and a silver chain and i think that will just go amazing i also received another talking about sunglasses a uh, few pairs of sunglasses from linda farrow and absolutely love linda farrow sunglasses i think they're amazing quality this was sent to me by their pr team and there's a few few different set like these are one of my two favorites so i have two favorites I love that they're like blue and cat eye and I think they're so fabulous with like denim or something like that. These are my other favorites or maybe these are my most favorite because I like small sunglasses. They're a little bit mirrored and they're very similar to our So Catty model I would say. Well not very similar but just like similar uh, shape. And then two other smaller pairs. I'm showing them in the how much I like them. So similar kind of mirrored smaller like rectangular shape very very cool like very cool kind of sitting in the beach fade being all fashionable and stuff and then we have the red as well very cool this is like roof down like in your cabrio car driving long like i don't have a cabrio like convertible car so i don't know why i said that well we got a message so that was from linda farrow huge thanks to their brand i love linda farrow there 
incredible like goals of brand and then I have more things to show you so I have a Zimmerman dress <laughs> lol just when I said that I'm getting off the brand but actually this is from one of the older collections I got it on the Alpnet actually it was gifted to me from the Alpnet and that's gonna be the last gift except from Camilla's brand everything else is going to be what I bought well actually I've shown you what I bought like all the uh, the other Zimmerman dress I bought the Jacquemus the Chanel suit they're just trying to be very very transparent so this Zimmerman dress is very beautiful it's sort of like scallopy it has again that kind of like um, cut that I like and um, I think it's very very stunning it if it wasn't this color it would be perfect for weddings but it is this color so no um, I have actually a wedding to go to, I just realized, and I don't have a dress. Hmm, going to a wedding in two weeks time, exactly. Okay, we'll have to think about that. Anyway, um, this dress is just beautiful, I love it. It's maybe a little bit too uh, September time perfect because of long sleeves and it's like more material or evenings in places where it's cold. Like for example, Santorini in the evenings, it would get actually cold to the point where I did need a jacket in the evening, so that dress would be Okay, let's move on. I actually purchased a few things on Luisa Via Roma. They recently had a sale, like a flash sale. So like when you go in on Luisa Via Roma, it tells you like for next hour you have 50% of these things. And I bought something that I love so much and I wasn't sure if I'm gonna love it or not. And it's this dress from Unravel. So it looks like it's layered, so like that you kind of styled it yourself. Oh. I always forget that it kind of doesn't have back. I don't know why I haven't removed these tags. I thought I removed them because I'm keeping it for sure. So it's like a shirt on top and kind of tied at the bottom. I love it. I think it's so cool, so fashionable. Anything that looks like it's layered. So it's already styled for you. I love in general Unravel because as a brand, when, you, when I've been like following their work for a while and watched the runway shows many, many seasons now, and I have to say that uh, when you see it all there, you're like, mm, it, it looks cool, but it's too cool maybe. But everything is so flattering and looks so good on the body that uh, I was like shocked. So I really love it. The other thing from Unravel as well is this shirt. Now, how am I going to show you this? So the shirt sort of has this around and then it goes like this. So it looks like it's been ruined and distressed. And I'm going to have to try it on and show you separately. I got a few more things from Louis of Aroma, uh, but before that I wanted to show you new Valentino shoes that I bought. They're still unworn, which is why they're on my bed, but otherwise they would never be on my bed. This is what they look like. These are just kind of like a perfect pointy, similar to the Balenciaga pointy heels. I know some of you hate the pointy shoes. I love them. I think they're much cooler, much more fashionable than the round toe. And that, of course, like doesn't apply to everything or everybody and round and square toes are coming so back in fashion but it's just something that I like and I thought the color could be quite cool I've been getting really off Valentino shoes but I think these are fab and I will link them below they also come in black color another dress that I got on Luisa Via Roma is this Rotate it's sort of like um, I don't know how to explain this but it's like a puffy shoulder mini dress yellow and black and the material is can you hear it not the most noble material let me tell you that 90% polyester 10% lurex but it's just so that it can stand and it's actually very structured and very cool a small digression as i'm trying this dress on i realized i haven't actually shown you these shoes these are new in my collection by jimmy choo uh, they're absolutely stunning, I think, with this like crystal detailing, kind of toe cleavage, pointy with a different kind of heels. I will link them as well below. For my Lucy Verama haul, the thing that I bought that I like maybe the least would be this pink self-portrait dress. Maybe I'll wear this to the wedding. The reason why I like this the least is just because I'm getting off self-portrait dresses and in general a little bit off self-portrait. I think it's too recognizable repetitive it's a very very cute brand i love their work i love the quality i just think like you know it's not something that i'm like mind blown but maybe i'll wear it to the wedding and it was on sale so i got it and last from my friend, friend camilla coelho who launched her brand for revolve i received some 
uh, really, really uh, beautiful pieces. My favorite is either this yellow crop top that looks like this. Ta -da! Love it. Or the dress that is kind of same print. Padded shoulders, cleavage, short and yellow. Perfect for a holiday like maybe for Mykonos. But I also love this one because it's like a wrap dress type of thing and just has a padded shoulder as well and I think it's beautiful. Her collection is amazing, I will link it below so you guys can check it out. I think she really did a great job and um, I mean anything she does is always amazing. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that, that will be it when it comes to most recent purchases. I don't know if I left something out. I mean, in my Centrini video, you have seen that I got recently the Hermes hat, the swimming suit, and the pants. And I'm going to Paris on Monday, so trust me. I will be vlogging and I will be shopping because I'm feeling spendy. I was in London today, and imagine this, I went to London and I forgot my card. And I had to call my sister who was in town to give me her cards just so that I can buy a train ticket and everything like that. So yeah, those things do happen. It happened to me for the second time this month that I went out and that I forgot my card. I don't know what's wrong with me. Oh, it's summer, so yeah, all good. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Um, let me know what you think I should check out, if there's anything that I missed out on, if there are any good sales that you guys have been kind of indulging in. Um, again, really, really, grateful for your support for your views and your comments so thank you thank you if you even made it this far let me know what was your favorite item from this kind of collective haul bye guys <laughs>